threw this thing on. And what have you. And what not. And what not. Alrighty. Um, just so. Yeah, man. What's going on, guys? Ben Pantazzi here with Ben Pantazzi Fitness, and I'm here over here with Max Kyler. What's going on, guys? And today we're going to just basically dive into the topic of body types, meaning ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph, and kind of what you would need to deal with your own personal body type, how you can kind of tell what body type you have, and um, basically what we would recommend when setting up your diet to either bulk or to cut weight. And this is going to be awesome because we have two very different body types right here. So we kind of have two different perspectives on this. Um, you know, he's, he has a faster, uh, slower metabolism. So he naturally is a, a much bigger person than myself. And I have a very fast metabolism, meaning that naturally I'm a very small frame person. Definitely. So basically, um, where you have ectomorph, endomorph, and mesomorph is... Max's body type is where he's staying much leaner year round, no matter really what, what he eats, right? And yeah, I eat whatever. Yeah, so that's basically what we would call an ectomorph, meaning that to put on mass, he would have to eat a very large excess of calories. What would you eat on a day to? Um, I mean, if I'm trying to bulk up, especially like when I first started, I'm eating every two hours, and I'm eating pretty much, in all honesty, whatever I want, as long as I'm getting my, my protein content in. And for protein, I eat about a pound, uh, a gram of protein per pound of body weight. So right now I'm 154 pounds, so I'll have 154 grams of protein a day. And then for carbs, I just eat as many carbs as I possibly can throughout the day because I don't really get affected by carbs. My body metabolizes them super fast. And calorie-wise, I mean, I'm probably shooting for about 3,000 calories a day. And that's to maintain uh, the weight that I'm at or to gain a little bit of weight. But... If I'm eating 3,000 calories a day, I'm not going to notice any body fat increase really at all. Yeah, definitely. You still got abs right now, don't you? Yeah, I still have abs <laughs> and I'm eating, you know, Big Macs and stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah. So basically where we differ is for my body type, um, I definitely hold a lot more weight. But also the benefit of that is it's a little bit easier for me to put on size. So I guess where, where it's difficult for me is cutting calories. So when I'm going to cut weight... I definitely eat a lot less. So I right now I'm actually cutting and I'm eating about 2,000 calories a day, really high protein and really low fats, and it's still very difficult for me to lose weight. And with your experience when cutting, it really doesn't take too much, right? Yeah, if I'm cutting, literally all I got to do is make sure that I'm not eating as frequently, but I'll still, if I wake up a little bit later in the, in the uh, you know, if I wake up in the afternoon at like 11.30 or 12 o'clock, like I can just eat whatever I want after that because if that portion of the day is cut out, that's all I need for a deficit because, I mean, it's my metabolism so yeah. fast. But um, like you said, I mean, there's benefits and there's, um, you know, bad sides to both. Like my benefit is that it's super easy for me to stay shredded. If I want to be shredded and have like six pack abs, I mean, I pretty much have them all the time, but if I wanted to be like shredded to the T, I can do that in about a month. I could just, I, just, I lose like about five pounds and I'd be there. Um, but at the same time, if I want to gain size and I want to like, you know, be a lot bigger of a person, it's a lot harder for me because I have to be eating a ridiculous amount um, to the point where it's pretty much like not even practical unless it's during the summer or a time where you don't have school and, uh, you know, things going on in your life just so that you can focus on diet. Um, and for him, it sucks because, you know, losing weight is hard, yeah. but it's good because once he's down to a uh, leaner body weight, uh, yeah, leaner body, if you want to bulk up, it's so easy. Oh, like, you just increase yeah. the calories a little bit and you'll blow up, for sure. which I can't do that. Yeah, I've definitely found from the beginning of when I started lifting, it's been a little bit, I mean, not easier, but when I'm eating at an excess of calories, the weight definitely comes pretty quickly, and, when I, and I kind of have to be careful of it because... If I'm not careful, I get a little bit fattier than I want to be and a little bit faster than it should be coming when on a bulk. So basically, guys, what we're trying to explain to you is you need to, when you're developing your diet or when you're trying to make a workout plan for yourself and seeing what you need to do, you need to first find what body type you are. So basically, I would be somewhere more in the mesomorph, endomorph territory. As I said before, max in the ectomorph territory. And... Understanding that will really help you base your diet and understand what you need to do for yourself, basically. Think about yourself like right now. Think about what you're eating and how active you are. And that will give you a really good idea as to what kind of you know, body type you have. 
If you are very active and you're not eating a lot of food, but you're overweight, it means your metabolism is super slow. So that means that you want to have a really large deficit in calories if you want to lose that weight. Now, if you're someone that's eating a ton and you're not very physically active at all, but you're still like very skinny, that means your metabolism is super fast like I have, and that means you need to eat a lot more food um, when you start lifting. Because if you start lifting and you're not eating enough and you have a, a body frame like me, you're gonna get smaller because all you're doing is, you're, when you're lifting, you're going into more of a deficit of calories. So you really have to figure this out before you start lifting. I suggest that everyone like takes the time and figures out kind of what type of body they have. You can go online and research it you know, a little bit more um, and get an idea as to like what you should be eating beforehand. And there's a bunch of apps like uh, MyFitnessPal that you can Definitely. use that will help you with that. But it, you're better off doing that and then starting to lift than lifting and then you know figuring out later on down the road that you've been wasting six months of your life because you had no clue what type of body you had and how much you should be eating because yeah. diet's huge in, in oh, fitness it's huge definitely i mean the gains are definitely made more in the kitchen than the gym even because if you're not eating enough calories all the work you're doing isn't going to go anywhere like max just said but um basically that's about it guys um, thanks for checking out the video and uh like comment and subscribe for more um that's about it right? yeah take care guys make sure you do this uh you do your little research before going into the gym and trying to uh, you know, make some gains because you don't want to waste any time. Figure this out, go to the gym, and you're guaranteed to have really good results. Work smarter, not harder, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.